Splashdown. Tonight, NASA's $4 billion baby, the Orion capsule that circled the moon, is back on Earth, and it appears it's in really good shape. So far, it seems everything worked exactly as it should on this first test flight of the Artemis moon missions. Good evening to you. I'm Eric Von Aiken. Glad you're with us tonight. The team at the Johnson Space Center in Houston was holding their breaths for much of the morning to see if Orion would come home safely and successfully. We've gone into uh, the first blackout period. This is uh, a visualization based on what should be happening at the moment where the temperatures around the heat shield are reaching about 5,000 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the moment of truth for Orion. The Orion capsule had come so far from the dark side of the moon a quarter million miles from Earth after that tricky middle of the night launch on board the world's most powerful rocket. And it all came down to this. Would the heat shield hold up on the underside of the capsule as it re-entered the Earth's atmosphere? Drogues have been deployed. NASA quickly got its answer, yes, the heat shield held. The smaller parachutes popped out, slowing the capsule, and then the main chutes deployed, plopping Orion gently down into the Pacific Ocean off the southern tip of California. From Tranquility Base to Taurus Littrow to the tranquil waters of the Pacific, the latest chapter of NASA's journey to the moon comes to a close. Orion, back on Earth. Just awe-inspiring. Like stunning. You know, one of us notices it and, and points at the screen and everybody else just pauses for a second to just soak in. There's a, a ship that has just been at the moon, been farther away than any spacecraft built for humans has ever been, and now it's about to splash down in the Pacific and we get to be here for this. And so it, it was certainly a momentous occasion. In the hours after splashdown, NASA's mission managers said the trip around the moon, this time without astronauts, went perfectly. So next time, in about two years, they can put astronauts on board. The biggest surprise for me was a positive one, and it was simply that the first time flight of a brand new rocket, a brand new spacecraft, first time operations went as smoothly as it did. Now, the only thing that NASA was not entirely thrilled with is the parachutes and the cover that was protecting part of the capsule all sank to the bottom of the ocean before they could get to them. But NASA says they knew that was a possibility. And since this splashdown went perfectly, they didn't really need to examine that stuff. But they will take a hard look now at the capsule and all of the data that they have collected when the capsule shipped back to the Kennedy Space Center as they prepare now for the Artemis II moon mission in 2024 or sooner, they say.